Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Orina Vincent back up in here, exploring life like always. Hopefully, everybody's doing good out there. Everybody's staying healthy, staying safe, staying sane. I know quarantine time's crazy, and uh, all the people who are working out there, do what you got to do, man. Get that money and all that. Take care of one another and all that. But anyway, man, exploring life, like I always say, procrastination, that's what I do. So, but first of all, that's why I haven't, um, sometimes I procrastinate with my uploads of videos, so I apologize for that. But uh, other than that, I want to say thank you for my two new subscribers, whoever you guys are. If you subscribe to the channel in the past two weeks or past week, thank you. I got 90 subscribers, y'all. All I need is five more to reach my goal that I set. Uh, I always set like a yearly goal. It's always real small because I know I would never get like, oh, I want to get 20 new subscribers every year. I don't think so. But um, five more people, man. So tell your friends, tell your family, you know, grab your friend's phone to subscribe to me. <laughs> All that good stuff. But anyway, let's go back to uh, I called into a sports show. Uh, as you know, I like calling into a Milwaukee sports talk show. Uh, the Milwaukee Bucks. Played against the L.A. Lakers back in March, like late March. I think it was March 26th to be exact. So anyway, this is this is when I called in. And remember, I called in before, um, called into a 105.7 The Fan in Milwaukee, Milwaukee Bucks postgame show, Bill Baby Tal Schmid. Shout out to you, man. He no longer works there, man. He got released or let go. I think last week, man, this sucks, man. He was a good guy, a good radio guy, man. I really enjoyed any show that he was on. Um, but basically, I call in. I talk, uh, I talk a little trash, just a little bit. I even say what's up to that guy, that caller, Justin, who trolled me, who threw some shade on me because he says I like so many teams I can never take an L or whatever like that. So, I, you know, at the end, I said, you know, I said what I said. The host hung, hangs up on me, but he also shows me some love. So go ahead and check it out. Listen to the full clip, please, and enjoy. And, hey, man, maybe sports will come back. But like I said, I love talking sports, and I will call in the sports shows, sports stations around the states, around the, around the whole country if I got to, to uh, represent my teams. But uh, check it out. Hopefully you enjoy it. And uh, you know what to do, man. Give me a like, give me a share. Check it out. Calling into a sports talk radio show. Milwaukee Bucks 105.7 a fan Milwaukee Bucks post game show uh the day they lost against the Lakers back in March The Bucks game is over And now it's time for the longest running pro hoops post game show in Milwaukee hear from the players you know, I feel good I always can get better but you know I know I know myself I know how usually it goes you know uh, if I'm healthy things are gonna be okay the head coach um you know offensively I think you know we make a few more shots could be dangerous and the fans you got a guy in Giannis he's just like the most likable human being and all the other people fall in line with that everybody kind of takes after him and it just it's really positive to see that be the team that we give. This is the Pick and Save Pro Hoops Post Game Show, driven by Mercedes Benz of Milwaukee North. Now, here's your host, Bill Baby Tausch Schmidt, on 1057 FM, The Fan. We get big time performances from Bledsoe and Middleton, and neither showed up here tonight. This should be fun. Vincent's in Anaheim, California. He's up on the fan. Hi, <laughs> what's up, man? How about. How about them Lakers, man? They came through. They came through like I knew they wanted to do. It's not a big deal, though. I mean, it's a big deal to the Lakers because all the disrespect that all these Laker haters, uh, people, you know, mm -hmm. there's people that hate the Lakers. Believe that. You know what I mean? It's just because the national media wants the Lakers to go. Don't mean there's people that hate the Lakers and, you know, outside of California and all that. But they gave you your 10th loss. But it don't matter, man. You guys are still the best team in the NBA. All you got to do is just rebound from this. So, but I understand Chris Middleton and all that. He didn't show up. Number two didn't do what a number two needs to do. When you know Giannis is putting all the work, and you know I kind of agree with you, big big talks about you know when I I got to watch and listen to the whole game. So you know uh, the the Lakers didn't dominate Giannis. Giannis still got his points. What they did is just dominate the last half of the game. That's what they did. So that's yeah, they took I over. And it, but, but it still was a close game, man. I was like, when I dropped it down to four points, I was like, I'm still a little bit worried, man. And Because, and you know, the Bucks they're going to do their thing, but the Lakers got this game. 
Hey, hey, what, hey, Justin in North Carolina, man. I ain't taking no L tonight, player. Yeah, you'll catch a lot more, though. Thank you, Vincent. I would love to know the, the disrespect and the Laker hate makes you want to call a Milwaukee post game show. Just always always thought it was fun. I love Vincent, though. He's a good dude. Really fun guy. Listen to us on the radio.com app. Like you can, too. This is the Big and Safe Probes postgame show, driven by Mercedes-Benz of Milwaukee North.